Good day, everyone. My name is Janae Johnson. I'm the Religious Education Coordinator at Unitarian Universalist Church of St. Pete. Today, we're going to begin by lighting our chalice. Love is the spirit of this church and service is law. This is our great covenant, to dwell together in peace, to seek the truth in love, and to help one another. So now that we got our chalice lit and ready to go, we're gonna dive right into the lesson today. We're gonna to acknowledge a few uh, celebrations that are celebrated in the mid of spring. Now the mid of spring is marked May Day, but there are several dozen names across the world that have their own traditions and celebrations. One we're gonna to notate today is Beltane. But before we get to that, I'm gonna read this first from my wonderful book, Celestial Auspicious Occasions, Seasons, Cycles, and Celebrations. The Maasai people claim their descents to be from an original parent tree. The Mayas of Central America understand themselves to be part of a great celestial Ceiba tree. This silk cotton tree, which stands for all life, is the pole at the center of the earth and serves to hold up the heavens. The Zapotec tree of life is 2,000 years old, 131 feet tall, and 138 feet in girth. It grows in Santa Maria de Tul in Mexican saint of Oaxaca. This majestic stately being, large enough to offer shade to 500 adults, which also survived Columbus and the conquistadors and survived the Mexican Revolution is now suffering the consequences of air pollution and the near depleted groundwater table. The health and prognosis of the great tree of life now hang in a precarious battle. The Quran refers to the cosmos as a tree. Yggdrasil, the world ash, is the tree goddess of the Scandinavian underworld who overreaches the human abode, touching the sky with her branches. Her roots reach to the very center of the earth where they wind around the sacred wells that impart wisdom. The world tree is a symbol of all relationship and such the central philosophical image of the Slavs. The Hebrew goddess Asherah was associated with a sacred tree. The Greek goddess Athena was symbolized by an eternally flourishing olive tree. Helen was worshiped as a tree on the Greek island of Rhodes into the 19th century. The Buddha was born under a tree on Lenbini, attained enlightenment under the tree at Gaia, and entered Nirvana under the tree of Kansanagara. The Bodhi tree, the tree of life in the Garden of Eden, the Egyptian tree of life, the biblical tree of knowledge, the Persian tree opposed to harm, the Navajo tree, the Iroquois tree of peace, the cedar tree of the ghost dance, the witch tree of Ojibawa, the Yoruban Universal Tree of Life, the Taoist Paradise Tree, the Celtic Tree of Paradise, the Germanic World Tree, the Heaven Pillar, the Greek Sacred Pine of Atis, the Tree of Liberty and the French Revolution, the Waxacan Toll Tree, the Kabbalah Tree, the Cedar of Labadon, the Christmas Tree. All of these particular trees and celebrations across the world recognize May 1st as that midsection of spring in between the spring equinox and the summer solstice. European spring cross quarter festivities were held in honor of the trees and their mistresses, the virgin vegetation goddesses. Mid spring was celebrated as Floralia by the Romans, Walpurgisnacht by the Tertuns, and Beltane by the Celts. Now going into the Beltane, we're gonna talk about the roots within the British Isles. Beltane is a celebration that falls midway between the summer spring equinox and the summer solstice, as I had just mentioned. It honors spring at its peak in coming summer. If the spring had been a fruitful one, usually the rains have produced rich and fertile earth with verdant green woodlands. Beltane celebrates the new life that emerged during this season transition. Festivities for this event begin on or near the last night of April and continue through May 1st. Observed for centuries in Europe, the celebration is now embraced by pagans who light bonfires, dance and perform rituals on the occasion. 
There is no shortage of ways to observe Beltane, and some pagans also mark the event by paying tribute to the Argargian ancestors who celebrated Beltane centuries earlier. So one way we're going to acknowledge Beltane today, we're going to acknowledge it by going into the meditation, because our meditation actually speaks about gathering the symbols of Beltane. So I would like for you to sit in a comfortable position, get nice and comfy. And if you'd like, you can stay where you are. If you want to stand, that's totally fine too. Now I'd like for you to gather symbols of the elements. So we have air that's represented by this wonderful feather that I have had for so many years. I have no idea where I got it from, but I've had it for a very long time. And we're going to represent earth by a pot of soil. Now this soil is currently occupied by a plant, but that is totally fine because it still represents earth and what all she does. And we're also going to represent our water with this lovely bowl of water. And we're also going to represent last but not least, spirit by our heart center. Now, I'm gonna go right into it. We bless this space, this place by air, the breath song by talking with friends, the slow breaths of meditation and prayer. Send your love out into the universe. Be one with each other that you are connected to in your homes. Take care of yourselves. But also, I want you guys to get outside if you can, take your Beltane elements outside and find the thresholds in nature. A threshold might be a route to jump over, a gate, a door, a window. I would, I, I invite all of you to twirl around them with your Beltane decor to create a sheltering threshold to keep the bad out and the good in. Another Beltane tradition is to create a bonfire. Now, we're not going to do one of those for real. However, you can make a pretend one by gathering some twigs together and some red cellophane for a pretend flame. And then you can jump over that. Go ahead and try that out and see how it goes. The story that I wanted to share with you all today is called Oh, the Places You'll Go by Dr. Seuss. Now, as we are reaching the year's end, we have a few of our classmates that are graduating. Shout out to Kaya and Azira Allen for completing high school and graduating. Congratulations, you guys. I'm so happy and so proud of you all. We have a couple more students that will be graduating right behind you guys in the following years to come. Now, the thing, the story, the thing about this story that I really admire it goes into this. From soaring to high heights and seeing great sights to being left in a lurch on a prickly perch, Dr. Seuss addresses life's ups and downs with his trademark humorous verse and illustrations while encouraging you guys to find the success that lies within. Dr. Seuss's message is simple but never sappy. Life may be a great balancing act, but through it all, there's fun to be done. This book is great to talk about another door of growing up, the balance of disappointment and excitement. I know that space is very tricky. It's tough, especially coming to the year's end for all of our students. We're all trying to figure out what in the world is going to happen for summer break. Is there a summer bridge? Is there a summer camp? What is there to do? I know that beaches and pools are slowly opening back up, so it looks like that's going to become feasible once again, totally up to the discretion of your parents to decide on whether or not to do in that space. I always want to remind everybody to definitely stay safe, but also think about that balance in life. Life, there's always a balance. When you think about balance, I think about symbols like yin and yang, words like good and bad. Word I just said, excitement and disappointment. I think about the colors black and white that are the colors on yin and yang. There's so many ways that exemplify what balance is. We even have an astrological sign that represents balance. Libra. In fact, fun fact today, Libra, I'm sorry, 
The symbol or the abbreviation for pound LB period was actually derived from the term Libra, which actually represents the scales. Who would have thunk that? So without further ado, I'm gonna go into our benediction and closing words for this lesson today. I also hope you guys took a moment to acknowledge your superheroes on April 28th. Yes, if you have missed it, April 28th was National Superhero Day. That is a day that we acknowledge our superheroes, which now we've come to realize even more so are our teachers, our first responders, even the people that deliver food. These people are everyday superheroes. And if you'd like, draw a card, put a nice note on the table that's outside of your door for the delivery drivers as well. Something super, super funny. I left one note for the Pizza Hut delivery guy. I wanna say a couple weeks ago, actually. I put a note saying, drop the pizza and run fast. The mosquitoes here are savage because I actually do have mosquitoes that kind of like to, you know, quickly come into the door if you don't get in fast enough. It's always a quick race getting into my own house. But I left that note for the pizza guy and such a funny gentleman. He actually stood there and waited for me to come to the door so he can acknowledge that. So little things that we can do for the people every day mean so much and it goes such a long way. So take five minutes out, get a piece of paper, fold it in half, Cut out a heart shape, write out thank you, and just give it to them. People appreciate these things. They truly, truly do. It means so much to the world that there are still wonderful people that go out of their way to make sure that we are all taken care of. It all starts with one person. Kind of thinks, makes you think about the idea of paying it forward, right? I'm going to read this short poem by Duke T. Gray from our Singing in the Living Traditions, number 684. The blessing of the truth be upon us. The power of love direct us and sustain us. And may the peace of this community preserve our going out and coming in. From this time forth until we meet again. I really appreciated that because I do miss all of you guys so very much. The church just doesn't feel the same when I go in and pick up supplies and just, it's missing that life. The giggles and laughter of all of you. The strums of the guitars playing, the playing with the costumes and such, the decorating the classroom and the space. Can't wait to see you guys again. I have one more to share before I extinguish our chalice. What we call a beginning is often the end, and to make an end is to make a beginning. The end is where we start from. We shall not cease from exploration, and the end of all our exploring will be to arrive where we started and know the first place is the first time. Correction and know the place for the first time by T.S. Eliot. That is 685. I've shared that before, but I want to share one more time because it still resonates true. And I think it's such a beautiful piece to share with you all. So I hope you take a moment to review the newsletter. There are helpful tools and resources through there that can help you with Pinellas County Schools. Uh, there are fun things for the children to do together. Also for kindergarten through third grade, Parents, check out Mrs. Trish's lesson. She has a wonderful spread of things for the children to do. Even put together an arts and crafts um, activity for the kids to do. I believe they're gonna make a green mask. Not sure. You should check it out and find out. But anywho, I also hope you guys enjoyed my children's story segment on the service for this Sunday. I love and miss you all so much from my heart to yours. I will be now, I will now be <laughs> extinguishing the chalice. Flame of fire, spark of the universe that warmed our ancestral hearth. Agent of life and death, symbol of truth and freedom. We strive to understand ourselves and our earthly home. By Leslie Paul Kozbao. 
number 451 in our singing in the living tradition. Well, I hope you all enjoyed the lesson for today. I do hope to see you all very soon, but in the meantime, of course, always stay safe. And until next time, guys, enjoy this slideshow. Bye.